Wait, these are musket men. Oh, they're not gonna do any- Are they these Russians? <laughs> I have a great musket. I will use my superior firepower to shoot these crazy red farmer men. I will shoot them. Somehow they are not dying. Oh my goodness. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, never mind. The farmers got their asses kicked. Guys. How's it going guys? My name is Zumpa and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So in the previous episode, we destroyed levels one through five using a simple technique that I like to call the barrel rolling technique. It works by having men who are standing on barrels roll their barrels until they hit something and then they go Bang! and then everyone dies. All right, that's the gist of the strategy. It's a little hard to grasp, I know, so you might have to rewind that to, to get a firm understanding of the concept. I just pulled my pants up, they're falling down. <laughs> but anyways, along with that, we also pitted the two most bitter political rivals in history against each other to see which one would come out on top. We got the Hillary, who's chucking her deleted emails, and then we got Trump, who's shooting two M16s. Now, just from those two basic tidbits of information, who do you think won? Emails versus machine guns. Yeah. Obviously emails. <laughs> Duh. With the amount of juicy info inside those emails, it's not that surprising. Mm, yes. Anyways, guys, I decided that I would like to try and complete the campaign or at least get as far as I possibly can and then try a couple more um, sandbox things. I want to try the super peasants versus the dark peasants and the dark peasants versus the chicken man man. I want to see what that's going to be like because the chicken man man's big as hell and the dark peasants got those little splinters. He shoots up into people's butts. You know what I mean? They usually go into people's butts, into their anal cavities. All right, guys? In the case of the chicken man man, they're gonna go right in his feet. And that will just make him angry. So it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try a couple more of these campaign missions. I got stuck on level five because I am an imbecile and I don't know how to play this game. I'm just gonna try farmers because I heard they're pretty successful in basically every single circumstance. <laughs> they're overpowered is what I'm trying to say. The angry Trump voters are flocking in numbers trying to kill the uh, the people here, they're not actually gonna win. This is gonna be terrible. This guy right here is walking around with just a hat on. <laughs> he doesn't even have a pitchfork anymore. That's right, you go, buddy. You can do it. You can surely, you can surely, you can surely do it. He's dead. <laughs> I'm going to try farmers again, but I'm going to spread them out a little bit and see if that works. I'm pretty sure you can put people in trees, too. Look at that. <laughs> I'm putting them in trees. These are crazy tree-dwelling farmers. These farmers are crazy. They're unhinged. You guys can do it. You voted for Trump. You're tough. Very tough, except for this guy right here who fell on it. Actually, he's pretty damn tough. He's fine. Unlike his pussy-ass brethren that get hit by a giant black ball and they're dead already. What a bunch of bullshit. I'd be fine if I got hit by a giant black ball. I'll have you know. Look at this. There's a shit ton of these unhinged farmers and only three of these ballista left. Definitely gonna do it. Definitely gonna do it. I'm calling it right now, guys. I'm calling it right now. Okay. It might be too early to call it, actually. This isn't, uh, it's not looking nearly as good as it was. Please don't hit him in the head. Okay, they're dead. One ballista versus one farmer. There's one farmer left, and he had his pitchfork lodged. Maybe if his pitchfork wouldn't have been lodged, he'd be fine, damn it. I know these guys can do it. I'm gonna try just three nice-sized clumps. Three big old fat clumps. That should work. Perfect. Come on, you crazy farmers. I believe in you guys. I believe in you guys with all of my heart. Now you all just need to believe in yourselves with your clogged arteries and... Plaque-filled veins, I'm sh I'm certain, almost, not quite. All right, there's only two left. This isn't gonna work. One left, one left, he's dead. He's dead. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're all dead! <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. I can't beat this level. I suck. I suck, and it's as simple as that. I tried spreading them out a little bit more so the uh, ballistas wouldn't be able to kill as many of them right off the bat. I wanna see how that works out. I don't think it's gonna be any different really well. This is pretty good looking so far, but that can change real quick with a bunch of dumbass farmers that just run right down the middle, right into a bunch of giant black balls. Okay, well, this ballista's dead. This catapult is dead. Have I been saying ballista this entire time? I know someone will leave a comment. <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch. I corrected myself. And look at this. The farmers are going to win. This guy right here is going to deliver the finishing blow. Oh, never mind. He was dealt the finishing blow. This guy's trying to pick up blue bodies with his pitchfork. Stop. Stop or you're gonna lose, you moron. Seriously, they're gonna die because of this. Because they're stupid. They're gonna die on the count of their small brains. Come on, farmer. Seriously. You could have very easily won it if you were just not 
running into a rock with your pitchfork. Why are you doing this? You need to get your head out of your ass, you dumbass. Stupid idiot. I hate you. I hate you, Jobo. Fucking Jobo. I think that's a farmer name, maybe. That's a dumb farmer name. No offense to anyone out there named Jobo. <laughs> I don't think it's a real name. That's why I said that. But just in case, I gotta cover my six guys. There could be some fucking weirdo out there named Jobo. I mean, some perfectly normal, unique snowflake or whatever. I don't know. I just hope I didn't trigger any Jobos. <laughs> That's Jobo. He's triggered. Oh, this is looking pretty good. It's seriously. One catapult left and like 20 farmers, but they had to stand in a fucking single file line, which couldn't make it any easier for a catapult to kill them. You guys are dumb. I said it. I said it and I meant it. Let's try something else, maybe. How about that? Oh, oh, there's one cat. I did it. I didn't even realize I was doing it too. So archers plus farmers actually makes quite a quite a uh, quite a hard hitting duo. There, cool. Good to know. Now I can finally f fucking move on. That was starting to bug me. I've been playing this for 15 minutes and I've, I'm, I haven't done anything at all. What the hell can beat these guys? Let's try farmers. Some angry, unhinged, crazy, white supremacist farmers. Now I'm not even in the slightest insinuating that real life farmers are any of those things. I know a lot of farmers and I'm essentially a farmer myself. I grew up on a farm, but these guys, you're fucking crazy! The farmers I know don't walk around wearing straw hats, carrying pitchforks, stabbing blue people. So, there is very little comparison here, but good God, can these guys fight? Jesus! <laughs> That's what I like to see! Wow! There's only a couple of dumb bucket heads left. These farmers are gonna nail them. Right in the bungholes with their pitchforks. That's right. I think my farmers might be kin to Lucifer. Didn't Lucifer have a pitchfork or something? Or was that Poseidon? Or did they both? have pitchforks. Get them farmers! Sick them you crazy farming bastards! Pick the corn then stop the blues! That's what the life of a farmer is right there guys. Picking corn, stabbing blues. With your crazy old pitchfork and your floppy neck and your awesome straw hats that make you look like that Jeepers Creepers guy. Farmers again! I have a strong sense that this will be Incredibly effective. Wait, these are musket men. Oh, they're not gonna do any- Are oh, these Russians? <laughs> they have a great musket. I will use my superior firepower to shoot these crazy red farmer men. I will shoot them. Somehow they are not dying. Oh my goodness. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, never mind. The farmers got their asses kicked. Guys, I thought this was gonna be very one-sided. I guess I was wrong. What's this? What's this over here? Well, no wonder a majority of my force is stuck behind a rock. <laughs> Running into it like a bunch of morons. Shoot the farmers! Shoot them in their crazy looking hats! Oh wait a second, our hats are even crazier! You guys' hats have balls on them. That's stupid. I don't like people with balls in their hat. These dudes are wacky. Okay, we lost again, guys. I don't know what to do. Maybe this old chestnut. Some archers and some farmers. We'll try that. What? My farmers are almost already dead. <laughs> Putting them into a clump does not work at all. Not a single farmer touched any of these crazy Russian bastards. I don't think they're Russian, by the way. I think they might be Ottoman. Those look like strangely Turkish hats to me. Ali Ali oxen free. Seriously? <laughs> what? How is that even possible? They killed all my men in two shots. I'm done with farmers. Let's just try archers. Come on. There's only a couple more of these crazy fools left. There's just, there's just four guys. Just run up, shoot them with your bows, and then be on your merry way. Look how big these arrows are, by the way. I know I point that out in literally every episode where I use arrows, but man, those are gigantic arrows. And boy, that looks like it hurt. Dang! We did it! Victory! Without the stupid farmers, too. Why am I even trying to use the farmers all the time? This isn't no dumb farmer challenge or anything. This is this is the common sense challenge, and I'm failing miserably. Let's do archers again. Archers are pretty cool. Wow, these archers are making short work of this. That was that was very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and try farmers again. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I really don't. I have no idea. I'm terrible at this game. What can I say? I have a good feeling about the farmers on this particular level, though. The chicken man man seems to have a weakness for farmers, hence his chickens. They they are lured to the farmers in a, in a way of lust and passion or something like that. I really don't know. The, okay, the chicken man man, he's just shitting chickens. He's just shitting chickens and the farmers are all dying. Great. I don't know what else to do, so I'll just do some chariots. I... Those aren't chariots. <laughs> what the fuck? That's Rudolph. That's not a horse. <laughs> I guess it is this season. 
Um, I'm not jolly though. I'm pouting right now, guys. I'm pouting. So make me happy, Rudolph. Make me happy. Rudolph the red nosed uh, sand deer flew around with his sleigh. And if you ever saw him, I'm terrible at the campaign. We'll have to try it again some other time. Obviously, we're going to do it in Scotland, and I'll do one super peasant versus one dark peasant. This is going to be nutty. Oh boy. Let's try that again, just in case you didn't see it the first time. Oh, wow, this is... That's a good, that's a good battle. That's a good battle right there. Wow. Oh, baby. Oh, yep. Super peasant. Super peasant has the dark peasant's number. That's for sure. The dark peasant is trembling every time he gets into the ring with the super peasant. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The dark peasant uh, sends a lot of giant black barbs right into the super peasant's bum at the start of each round, so. Super Peasant is terrible compared to the Dark Peasant. Now let's try a couple of these gosh darn chicken men versus one Dark Peasant. There we go. Start shitting. Start shitting, guys. You need a hell of an advantage. Oh! He just spawns bigger spikes. That's horrible. Oh, he's still spawning more spikes and he's... Oh man, that's a lot. That's a lot of spikes, guys. I don't even know what's happening right now. This is too intense. Where's the Dark Peasant at? I see some red sparks flying around. He's in this, this mess of spikes. <laughs> Holy shit, this is crazy. He's killing all the chicken men. He's killing the giants. He's slaying them. This is unfair. You're a tiny man, though. Get it, get beaten by some chickens. There we go, chickens. Nail him. Nail him. Get him. He won. How did he beat the giants so so easily? And by the way, that was a fucking lot of spikes that he put in those people's asses. That was, that was terrible. Let's try it again, but this time I will spread the chicken men out. That seems to make some some form of difference occasionally. And I also put one in a tree for good measure because I like it whenever people are in trees. <laughs> They're like tree people. Oh shit, he's fallen. He's wounded. Oh, the dark peasant has chosen Jerry over here first. That's not good. I'm sorry you had to go first, Jerry, but you were in the front of the line, bud. You were in the front of the line, that's what you get. That is so many spikes. It's almost unbelievable how many it is. It kind of hurts my eyes. Oh, it's weird looking. It's freaking me out, kind of. And now that guy's next to die. Shit, shit, you shouldn't have come close. You should stay over there, damn it. We won. You just gotta spread them out a little bit before you start sticking some giant spikes in their dinguses. Dingai, whatever the hell they're called. Let's just try it one more time to verify that that's actually what's happening. This man right here distracts the dark peasant, which allows all of these men to have a bunch of babies, and then they start shedding out chickens, and it just, it's an epic, it's an epic battle. It's an epic saga, if you will. An epic saga of destruction. Hell yeah, I like this. There's so many spikes, it's hurting my brain and making my computer lag. But we did it again, twice in a row now. I like it. I like it. The dark peasant can be beaten by a couple chicken men. And I think the secret is this guy right here. The tree man. The secret lies within the hearts of the tree people. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode when I... Poop a chicken. <laughs>